Hi guys, welcome back to UK Moho Touring. We're just leaving Wells and we're heading for the A149, which is the coastal road, which will take us all the way through to Inkleborough Fields Caravan and Motorhome Club site. The road around this area does tend to get a little bit sandy, which then makes the road a little bit slippery, so you have to drive carefully. We don't want to cause any accidents. Further down the road we arrive at the village of Stithke, where the road tends to narrow a little here and is quite twisty, but we negotiate the bends and twists through the village. And there it was, a wagon straight in front of us. Oh dear, and nowhere to go. Fortunately, the wagon reverses back to allow us to get through. But there's certainly not very much room even when it's reversed, so we have to drive through slowly. And then there's the cars coming up behind the wagon as well. Luckily at this point we did have a little part where we could pull into, which helped a great deal. I think just being sat here we seem to be causing more chaos on the road, but eventually the cars all come through and then we can get on our way again. then we come across roadworks. This is a great journey just getting through one small village. Hopefully we'll have no more problems as we go further down the road. more cars causing even more chaos but the journey continues without further interruption we're a little bit too early to get onto the campsite so we decided to park up in the car park up at Cromer it cost us £2.80 for two hours and it does have a lovely view. Whilst we were parked up, we did go for a short walk along the hillside just to stretch our legs and pass a little bit of time away. Along our walk across the hilltops, we came across the goats. These live on the hillside just above the beach. And apparently we were told by one of the locals that there's actually seven of them living here. So we're now heading to the campsite. As you come up the driveway, you come down the side of the golf course and the hole in one bar. The road is only a single track the campsite do ask people not to leave the site in vehicles between 1 and 2.30 p.m. to allow easy access for those arriving.
So we've made our way through to the reception. So we're now off to find our pitch. And we land here on pitch 121, which is on Kettle Grove on the far side of the site. Abby's happy because she's got another campsite to explore. She gets very excited. On Saturday, it was Abby's second birthday. So we took her down to the beach because that's her favourite place. And we played some ball with her on the sand and um, took her walk. We did our best to get her to have a paddle in the sea. She's not very fond of the water, but it was a really warm day. So we thought a pool off in the water would be good for her. And eventually she did have a little paddle and try and drink in the sea as well. So we're going for a walk around the site, show you around. We start at the top of Kettle Grove and this is Fair Lady Facilities Block. We walked up the hill into the wooded area and it is quite a hill as well. We came across Whitworth Terrace but for some reason this was closed off and there were three terraces in total that had been closed off but I'm not sure why. Some lovely views over the golf course. Holgate Terrace is another one of the terraces that was closed off. There are also a number of footpaths through the wooded areas, ideal for walking the dog. Ab's Terrace is at the top of the site as far as height goes. It's all non hot on in here. High Corner provides some amazing views over the sea and now we start to head back down the hill towards the reception area on the site. This Buxton Terrace is nicely hidden away.
a little further down the site we pass the end of Wyndham Terrace. Then we'll come down to Cromer Terrace, which is a larger terrace and much flatter than some of the other areas on the site. The dog wash is also located on the end of Cromer Terrace. In Culborough Fields is also a large area and is mostly flat, although there are many areas of this site where you do need to level, so I would recommend in taking levelling blocks with you, because there is a good possibility that you will need them. But in Culborough Fields now, there are no bins at the service points around the site. All the bins are located at the facilities block. This is a trial that they are doing to see if they can save on plastic. There are many more lovely views as you walk across the pathway over the golf course to the other side of the site. And don't forget, watch out for the playing golf balls. So we enter back into the other side around the Sandy Lane area. This is located at the bottom of Kettle Grove. walk up past the children's playground and all the way uphill back to our van If you've enjoyed watching this little tour around in Culver Fields, please let us know in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, see you next time.